Time to expose. We're going to be exposing a, another little ism here today. And uh, we're going back to that dumbism again. And this dumbism here is geared toward tricking, uh, tricking black people into voting for uh, voting for somebody that doesn't give too, too far to about whether you live or die. And uh, here the story is, it says the D.C. dunce. Uh, Trump courts African Americans in speech while harming African Americans in his policies. Impeached and now now acquitted President Donald Trump has delivered in his final State of the Union address before the next presidential election set for November 3rd, 2020. The speech was repleted with misleading information with an apparent aim to impress black voters. In a 78-minute speech delivered before Congress and televised the millions February 4th, D.C. Dunst referred to black civil rights leaders by name and invited African Americans as guests in the audience, but a remarkable number of statements that he made pertaining to African Americans or people of color was contradicted by policies, previous actions, or statements by Trump himself. Among examples, he called Harriet Tuckman a hero in the, uh, the state Union address while refusing to allow her picture to be posted on a $20 bill until after he is no longer president. During the 2016 presidential campaign, he suggested her photo be uh, posted on the, on the discontinued $2 bill instead. He awarded an opportunity scholarship to African American fourth grader Janiah Davis to attend a school of her choice while proposing to strip funding from public schools where the education of millions of African Americans are suffering. He praised the worthy service of Cleveland native Charles McGee as one of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen during the pains of legalized segregation and promoted him to Brigadier General. Yet, on the same day, he pinned on General, uh, General McGee's stars. He awarded the Presidential Medal, Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor to talk radio show host Rush Limbaugh along with uh, among the greatest purveyors of racist comments about black people of all media personalities including champion the so-called birther lie that, that uh, President Obama was not born in the United States. Trump invited Joshua Smith, the brother of a teenage cyberbullying victim who committed suicide to sit in the audience at, uh, just before going on one of his usual cyber cyber bill, uh, bullying tirades against Republicans and Democrats who opposed him or simply told the truth during the impeachment hearings. Among the best descriptions of the speech probably came from the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, who ripped up her copy on live TV and called it a manifesto of mistruths. From funding for uh, HBCUs, to an African-American unemployment rate being the lowest in history while failing to give proper credit to his predecessor, President Obama, for that downward spiral, the 78-minute State of the Union address revealed back-to-back -back conflicts from the impeached president who was acquitted by the United States Senate the next day. But the Center for American Progress had already documented the harms done to African-Americans by the Trump administration. According to uh, President Trump, there's a revolution going on in this country. I mean, a positive revolution. So African-American, Hispanic-American, Asian-American, uh, uh, we have the best numbers we've ever had. African-American, the poverty numbers are now reversed, and they are they, the best they've ever had. But according to Cap, Trump has nothing to brag about when it comes to his treatment of people of color. The black unemployment rate remains two times the rate of white Americans. He also, we also know that most Americans cannot afford uh, an unexpected $400 expense. The fact check document on Trump's record on communities of color was entitled 365 Harms. The Trump administration record of people of color aims to, to document the numerous ways in which the Trump administration has been harming people of color. They are releasing seven instances each week 
and would document 365 instances of Trump harming people of color between November 5th, 2019 and uh, November 5th, 2020. According to the show of harms listed uh, by the CAP as uh, immigration, his immigration policy uh, cost the U.S. economy $11 billion and jeopardized the financial security of more than 228,000 federal employees of color when, it, uh, when he shut down the government and those employees, uh, black employees, didn't get paid. Criminal justice. Black teenagers are arrested at higher rates than whites. However, the Trump administration dissolved the the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention's research arm, the only federal office that consistently compiled data on racial patterns in juvenile arrest and incarceration. Uh, K through 12, under the Trump administration, the U.S. Office of Civil Rights upheld fewer than two in 10 complaints of racial harassment compared with the 31% under the Obama administration. Addiction crisis, the Trump administration uh, attempted to withhold funds for combat, com uh, combating the opioid crisis from the city of Philadelphia due to its sanctuary policies which protected immigrants. Nutrition. The Trump administration is reversing Obama-era rules, ensuring the Title I schools, schools in which more than 30% of students qualify for free and reduced lunch programs, receive adequate, uh, adequate funding. This will disproportionately affect students of color who were the majority of students in Title I schools in 2016-2017 school year. Drug laws disproportionately affect black Americans who are six times more likely to be incarcerated for drug-related offenses than their white counterparts. Despite these clear racial disparities, the Trump administration is instructing federal prosecutors to in pursue the death penalty in both violent and nonviolent drug cases. This is uh, something new. Incarceration. The Federal Bureau of Prisons is cutting back on the use of halfway houses and other uh, rehabilitation services, despite evidence of the importance of these services for successful reentry of the formerly incarcerated black Americans that make up 40% of the incarcerated U.S. population uh, in the United States. Economic opportunity. The Trump administration wants to eliminate the U.S. Department of Commerce Commerce's Minority Business Development Agency, which provides business counseling services to people of color who wish to start or expand their own businesses. Shootings of unarmed black men. The growing uh, media coverage of shootings of unarmed black men since 2012 has brought attention to the importance of data collection in officer-involved shootings, yet the Trump administration has delayed implementation of the law mandating data collection in, on arrest-related deaths until 2020. Juvenile justice. Despite disproportionately high arrest rates of black teenagers in the United States, the Trump administration removed training manuals from local juvenile justice officials aimed at eliminating racial disparities. White supremacists. In response to white nationalists rampaging through Charlottesville, Virginia, and ultimately murdering one counter protester, Trump responded by defending the white nationalists and blamed both sides for the violence. Trump administration rhetoric, President Trump attacked African-American professional athletes for protesting systematic racism and bringing, it, uh, and bring, uh, and bringing attention to police brutality, calling some of them son of a bitches and calling on team owners to fire them. He further inflamed emotions when he joked that police officers should rough up suspects upon arrest. Affirmative action. Trump administration rescinded an Obama-era policy that encouraged universities to consider race and university admissions to promote diversity. Instead, the U.S. Department of Education is advo advocating for race-neutral methods. Higher education. While boosting, boasting about increasing funding to HBCUs, the Trump administration tried to cut funding for the federal work-study programs and the Pell Grant program. The funding is, is essential for students of color. So, all, you, all those people out there, and, don't, and, and I also have to add that what, what he has been doing lately is uh, basically uh, outright illegal. He, uh, the, the, the Trump people that are funding Trump's campaign have been funneling money 
into the hands of black pastors around the country. And uh, in return, these black pastors are passing out envelopes, these envelopes of money to people that come to these meetings where they, uh, at these meetings, they are, they are telling the black people, well, you know, hey, uh, the Democrats are not doing nothing for you. Uh, uh, this election, either vote for Trump or stay at home and don't vote at all. So they're, they're using money to influence the black vote because Trump knows if he can get maybe 15, 15 or 20 percent of the black vote to go in his direction, that he can win this next election. This uh, is going to be highly watched uh, election and uh, possibility that the, uh, uh, the Russian influence or influence from any other countries may not work this time. So he's trying, they're trying to do every little dirty trick they can do. So what you got to do is get up off your butts, take your older people down to the uh, uh, DMV so they can get, get ID cards, take your young people that don't have driver's license, take them down to get ID cards so they can get registered so they can vote in your city and your state uh, for this uh, upcoming elections that are coming up fast. They're coming up fast. So do it now. Don't wait. And uh, so we can do something. We got to get rid of this, uh, this DC dunce, man. He got to go. Peace. And don't forget, take your old folks and your, and your youth that are uh, voting age to go get, get registered so they can vote.